How's it going guys and welcome back to the lair and today we're back in historic best of one I call this one Nighthawk Blackguard, but before we get into it I just want to say if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe It's free to you and helps us out so much Feel free to drop me a comment talk about strategy deck ideas misplays I read the comments daily and if you have any friends or family that are into magic Please share the channel with them also don't forget once you have followed or subscribe uh, Just reach out to me in the chat or the comment and say something like hey I just followed or subscribe and I can respond to you with an in-game code that you can use to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. Uh, so don't forget to do that. Um, I only have a few codes left um, before Wizards starts our new uh, rewards program. So make sure you take advantage of that if you're going to be a new follower or subscriber. Uh, also, don't forget, I will be taking part in the Strixhaven Early Access Streamer event where we get access to all the cards for 24 hours. And... Uh, going to be brewing up some nonsense like usual, so uh, stay tuned for that, my friends. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Let's hop into this. So this is a, a Rakdos list, red and black. Um, we're doing Rakdos Rogues today, and we are in Historic. Um, so going on the list, we have three copies of Malakir Rebirth or Malakir Mire, so it can either enter the battlefield, tap, and produce black mana, or at instant speed, choose target creature. You lose two life until the end of your, uh, until the end of turn. That creature gains when this creature dies. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's under its owner's control. We have the uh, full playset of Thieves Guild Enforcer. She's a one one with flash, and whenever Thieves Guild Enforcer or another rogue enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills two cards. And as long as an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, Thieves Guild Enforcer gets plus two plus one and has death touch. We're running the full playset of Thoughtseize at sorcery speed. Target player reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. We lose two life. Onto the two drops. We have three copies of Heartless Act at instant speed. Destroy target creature with no counters on it. Or remove up to three counters from target creature. One of the main centerpieces of the deck. Uh, the full playset of Ona's Blackguard. She's a 1-1 with flying. And each other rogue creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 counter on it. And whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. We're running the full playset of Robber of the Rich. He's a 2-2 with Reach and Haste. And when he, when he attacks, if defending player has more cards in their hand than you, exile the top card of your library during any turn you attack with a rogue. You may cast that card, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. On to the three drops. We're running the full playset of Nighthawk Scavenger. Uh, he's a one star three flying death touch lifelink. Uh, Nighthawk Scavenger's power is equal to one plus the number of card types among cards in your opponent's graveyard. Running three copies of Relic Robber, he's a 2-2 with haste, and whenever he deals combat damage to a player, that player creates a 0-1 colorless goblin construct artifact creature token with this creature can't block, and at the beginning of your upkeep, this creature deals 1 damage to you. And finally, on the three drops, we're running the full playset of the Devil at instant speed, destroy target artifact, creature, or planeswalker. And on the top end, we have two copies of Gonti, Lord of Luxury, he's a 2-3 with death touch. And when he enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down, then put the rest on the bottom of that library in a random order. You may look at that cat you may look at and cast that card for as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast that spell. And then finally we have three copies of Rankle, Master of Pranks. He's a 3-3 with flying and haste. And whenever Rankle, Master of Pranks deals combat damage to a player, we can either have each player uh, discard a card, each player loses one life and draws a card, or each player sacrifices a creature. We have a 2.3 converted mana cost, running 24 creatures with 22 lands. However, with these three, it's actually 25. Um, so yeah, the main strategy is we're just going to drop a bunch of rogues. Hopefully, if we have an owner's black card out, our, our creatures that hit will have the opponent discard cards and we're milling at the same time. Nighthawk Scavenger can help us stabilize. Relic Robber is really funny if you can get uh, your opponent with a couple constructs. We can use Rankle to do a number of different things. Um, stabilize, draw cards, have the opponent discard a card. Gonti's a nice late game drop where we can hit that like Planeswalker or that board wipe or, or whatever and take it away from them. Um, unlike Robber the Rich, where we have to be attacking and we have to cast it on the same same turn. Um, Thoughtseize, 
four of just an amazing one of the best uh, black uh, sorcery spells in my opinion uh, heartless axe for defense bedevil for defense and that's it let's hop into some games oh wait we didn't uh, go over the lands uh, so we have a 2.3 converted monocost running 25 lands 10 swamps four mountains four blood crypts and four dragon skull summits so let's hop into some games let's see how we do Our first opponent, Snails, with the Ajani, I love it, Snails. So that means his, he's playing a slow deck, he's probably mono-red. So we've got a three-lander here, we do have a black source. Um, I think we keep this. I think we keep this. Alright. I hate showing them the Malakir Rebirth, but it is what it is. Nails. Well, hopefully his deck is slow. Ooh, white. Could it be knights? Let's play owner first. Why is it be quiet? Sorry, my dog. I think we rob her and then hold up the Malak here. <coughs> Ooh, that's nice. <coughs> I love having access to the Malak here and the Thieves Guild Enforcer. Guiza, do you want to go in your house? Guiza, that's enough. Sorry. Guiza, that's enough. You want to get in your house? You want to get in this house? Shh. All right, what you got? If he doesn't try and remove... Uh, one of our... Sure. Let's get some benefit out of that first. We're hitting all types of goodies. Relic Robber is funny. Oh yeah, he attacks? Yeah, he had to think about that. Could also see myself doing like a Grixie's Rogues. Not like the typical, you know, tier one stuff, but, you know, I gotta keep it jank. Um, do I Relic Robber? Or do I Thought Seize? Hmm. I think we want a Thought Seize, no? No, then that would give us. We're just going to run out the Relic Robber. Why not? Let's, make, let's, let's have him make the decision. Assume he'll take the Relic Robber. No? Okay. No blocks? I wonder if he has a board wipe. 
Mm. I think we want to hold up the Malak here now. We do have a 40% chance to draw land, so that's something. <coughs> Gotta love them goblin constructs. Okay. And... Vanishing light on the Thieves Guild, sure. Oh, Robber the Rich. Cool. Number of creatures. Sure. Nice. All right, now we got some action. Do I thought seize? I think we do. Pull a card. Let's go double strike. That's not cool. Hmm. I think we'll take him. Okay, we'll attack again. So he plays, he plays Danatha, we kill it. Cool. Ooh, all that glitter is nice. Good game. Got him! Rakdos Rogues. Love it. Beautiful. Let's hop into another one. Gen myth with the Garuk. Ugh. Okay, so we got a two lander here. Hmm. I guess we could try this. Hopefully, we're not playing uh, mono red. Hmm. This could be. Uh, this could be bad news here. Mono red obosh. Ugh. Disgusting. Wow. Um. I play this dies instantly, right? Guess we just uh, wait and drop the Thieves Guild. Probably just already dead, but gotta love these uh 
Use mono red decks. I said it before, typical mono red aggro is against my religion. I never play it. I don't care how easy of a deck it is. Um, yeah, I think we're I think we're toast here, right? Probably already got the Ember Cleave. <clears throat> we need that Death Touch. Shock, yep. Another shock. Torch Courier, okay. Doesn't have enough for Ember Cleave, but he's already doing plenty of damage. He can draw into any of our removal. Um, yeah. Mono red. I cry every time. Alright, let's hop into another one. One land. Uh, no. It's a little bit better. We like the Thieves Guild. We like the Robber. I don't know how I feel about dropping the Bedevil, though. Hmm. Hmm. So we'll definitely keep this. Um. Hmm. I guess. <clears throat> We drop the Nighthawk. That could come bite back to bite us. <coughs> La Beast. Well, that's a cool Friday Night Magic sleeve. All the Friday Night Magic events that I've ever participated in, and I've tried reaching out to like my local game stores, and I never, never get any rewards. Ram through. Wonder if this is a. Uh, Hopefully he doesn't need that land. Rob of the Rich is going to be slick here. Okay, no creatures. Lotus Cobra, sure. Let's play you. Oof, another land. I think we need to we need to hit this land drop. Unfortunately, now we have access to a bedevil. So let's see if he plays like a scoot swarm or something. Okay, questing beast. Yeah, cool. I'm good. Ooh, we can heartless act too. I think we'll do that. That's nice. Discard it. Discard it. 
LA Beast. I'm not sure if it's LA or La Beast. Vanishing Light on Robber. Sure. We're still coming in for some damage next turn. We just draw into another robber, it's so funny. Um Yeah, I think, I think we're just gonna do that. Oof. Too bad we don't have land to cast it. It's not a good game yet. Uhulamog? Wow, this guy's serious. Got him. Got him. I wonder if three Malakirs is a little ambitious. I do like seeing it though, right? Let's check out our curve one more time. Hmm. A 2.3 running 22 lands now. I think we're good. All right, let's hop into another one. Two and one so far. Not bad, not bad. <coughs> not a top tier deck but you guys know me I love my jank Fostera with the Jace okay so we got triple black but these oh, this triple owners could be disgusting so I think we'll keep this <laughs> excuse me I'm gonna go into full control here and make them think that we have something See, this is Gruul. Ooh, Silencia. So we could robber and hold up a Malakir. Hmm. I feel like this shell does have something going on. Still know how I feel about Malak here anyways. So that's one way to bypass the three. Cast a creature, put a counter. Sure. Growth Chamber Guardian is really good. Very aggressive. Goes in for three. Sure. Them lands. Just gonna start discarding though, that's for sure. Oh my god, if we <coughs> if we drop this Ganti, hmm, with them three Onas, loving it. Loving it. Go ahead. Another growth chamber, sure. This thing costs two, right? Yeah. Unless he has like a pump spell or something. Ooh, Thoughtseize. Uh, no. I think I'm just gonna play Gomti. That 5-6 death touch is pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that shit. Got him! 
Got him. I almost think I need to cut maybe a Thoughtseize for like, maybe some more removal. Maybe like another Heartless. Hmm. There's a lot of creatures in the format though that get 1-1 one -one counters. Hmm. Let's check our mastery real quick. I feel like this has been a pretty short set. Nice. Alright, let's hop into another one. So far, so good. either. So weird. Hello. Um. Hello, Arena. It's not even giving me a cancel. So weird. Hello. All right, they're alive. Jamber Bowl. Okay. Draw. Right. Well, that was a big waste of time, huh? Alright, let's try that again. And... Waiting for opponent. Dark Stealth 36. Well, this looks like an absolutely lovely hand. We've got a three lander. We have a turn one. We can either Thoughtseize or Thieves' Guilt. And we uh, go into a robber. I think we'll keep this. Turn one. I don't think I'm interested in taking four life. So we'll just hold up the two Thieves' Guild. Blue and white. Okay. I smell some jank. Mm, so many possibilities. I think we rob her here. Clear the mind. We're hitting some lands. We are hitting some lands here. Thought sees. God Eternal, you're not going to be casting that anytime. Kiora. Oh, this guy's screwed, man. Love the Bedevil. Um. Oof. 
It's running how many of those? Bro. Pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna Gonti here. If he draws into a oof, I think we'll we'll take the Elspeth. That's nice. Land. Salt. Okay. Okay, time wipe. Sure. No? Manjara. I think we'll just go ahead and kill that since we can't kill God Eternal. I know he's gonna wipe, so. We'll just save this for the Kefnet, I guess. Ooh. I like that Malak here. Must be also running Settle the Wreckage. Epiphany. Permanent to its owner's hand. Target player draws a card. Sure. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm good. I, I think I'm going to let him um, waste his board wipe. God eternal. Sure. Probably running the gates, something like that. No negate. Think of what he could have for two that can kill both of them. Raisin Borrower. Um, sure, but got him. Got him. That's what I like to see. Alright, I think we got time for one more.
<clears throat> Cryptic Codex. Hmm. Two lander here. I'd like to see at least one red source. Hmm. I think we'll mulligan this. It's a little better. We can drop the Nighthawk. Uh, not too thrilled about this Malakir Rebirth. Let's lead off with the Dragon Skull. Shocks in for an Authority of Councils. Nice. Um, so let's take a peek. Ooh. Night. This will take the night. I think we'll pass. We can we can thieves guild on his turn. We can attack. Mm. So we'll pass, unfortunately. I think we definitely need a little bit more lands in this deck. Soren, ouch. Pretty cool list. That authority of councils that was put in the work for him. Nice. Um, I think we're, uh, I think we're dead here, right? I cannot be killed. my friends uh, I believe we're four and two with this uh, not bad not bad um, probably could make some improvements maybe cut a thought seize for an additional land something like that but um, yeah leave you guys at that thank you guys so much for watching once again if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe it's free to you and helps us out so much excuse me feel free to drop me a comment talk about strategy deck ideas misplays i read the comments daily and if you have any friends or family that are into magic please share the channel with them also don't forget once you have followed or subscribed on either my twitch or youtube channels just reach out to me in the chat of the comments say something like hey i just followed or subscribed and i can respond to you with an in-game code that you can use to unlock a mystery gift from wizards so very excited to be able to offer that to you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow